Hey guys, so not too long ago I had posted a remedy, a home remedy that I had made for um, my rat Cicero who's having some noisy breathing. Um, and I've actually altered that remedy a little bit more to make it easier to um, give to them and also to extend the length of time that I'm using that remedy. And this is what I'm going to try out now. Um, so just like the original remedy, um, it starts with whole um, dried rose hips and you'll need 21 of these. Um, I got these from my health food store. It's $13.90 a pound, um, but you don't need anywhere close to that. Like I said, you only need about um, 21 of them. And the bag that I had purchased was just over $4 and it was for 4.8 ounces, which was um, plenty. I mean, I've, I've got a, uh, these are, here's 21 uh, rose hips here. I still have all of what's in this bag and what I've already started seeping in some hot water. Um, so you'll need, again, 21 dried rose hips whole. Um, you'll need some echinacea, 400 milligram. And with that, you're going to be using four of these capsules. And these capsules actually pulled apart and there's a powder inside, which is what you're going to use. So 21 rose hips, four 400 milligram echinacea capsules. You'll need some um, uh, either honey or I'm using this stuff. I can't even pronounce it. Agave nectar, um, organic, yum yum, good stuff. And this is to sweeten it a little bit, just in case you have picky rats that will turn their nose up to this remedy. And what you'll be using is um, one teaspoon of this. So what you'll do is you will get three fourths cup of boiling water and you will seep your rose hips right in there and then what I did is I took a pair of scissors while after it had been seeping for a little bit and just kind of broke them apart so that that way it would seep a little faster and then I used my echinacea capsules and um, split them apart and put that in there as well stirred it up with one teaspoon of your um, nectar this stuff here one teaspoon and just mix that all in there. Um, you can let it sit for about 15 minutes. Um, and if you look at the bottom, you'll see all those little pieces of the inside of your your rose hip tea that we're making. Um, so this has been sitting for a little while, and what I'm going to do then is just put it into some type of a blender or a food processor. Um, I'm using my Ninja kind of tap to get all those little pieces at the bottom. Get in there. Get in there. And I'm actually going to like pulverize this just because I want to break up all those pieces of the rose hip. Um, the whole rose hip itself is edible, but um, depending on whether or not your rats have ever had it before, they may not eat it. So, and you know, sometimes with the rats that's got respiratory problems, they're not too feeling too hot anyway, so. Once it's in there, give it a couple. Really loud. Yeah, it's very loud. Yeah. Okay, that should be good. Let's take a look. Uh, I can't get the lid off. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So then, you've got this awesome, I mean, there's still some chunks in there, and that's fine. We don't really care about that. Um, so then for the dosage, you can either pour this into a container, um, and then the dosage is going to be one teaspoon. So you could either get like a little teaspoon scoop and scoop out the dosages if you want to keep this in your fridge. Um, I'm actually going to try using this tray. It's one of those little ice cube trays, but they're really tiny. You see how small they are? Real small. And I'm going to put... Let me get the pieces out of here. I'm just going to go ahead and pour one teaspoon dosages right into the tray. 
I don't want to fill it all the way up because I want these to be easy to get out. Um, and also because I, I want to keep the dosage about one teaspoon. So with this tray, I can freeze these and only and, you know it'll keep it fresher longer. So when I need to use them, um, I'm not a scientist or anything, so I don't know what you know what the breakdown is of echinacea or anything once you do it this way. But I'm gonna give it a shot, and then what I can do is just pop these out after they're frozen, and just defrost one little dosage at a time. And we're just gonna do one teaspoon of this mix a day uh, for 21 days. So that puts you at three weeks of this. Now with um, echinacea, you can actually give that to rats. Um, I believe it's every day for, it's like a two weeks on, two weeks off. So if you've got healthy rats and you want to do this, I would recommend just doing the um, two weeks and then wait and then do another two week dose, you know, uh, what do you call it, where you're dosing them for that amount of time. Um, but if your rat has any kind of a respiratory problem, this three weeks is actually just going to help them out. So, let me get all filled. And you get the picture. So, these are going to be our little dosages. And like I said, healthy rats do one dosage a day for two weeks, wait two weeks, then do another two weeks um, dosing. If you have a sick rat, go ahead and do 21 consecutive days and see how they're doing. Um, and then if you have to redose it again, maybe wait um, two weeks and then do another three week dosage. So I hope that helps. I'm going to try this out and um, see how it, it works. And thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to um, follow my blog, that address is www.ratwhisper.net. So please go there and follow my blog. I need readers. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.